Hello and welcome to Pizzazz Primary Performing Arts. Today we are looking at a keyboard song. Super simple, super easy. It can be played on a piano or a keyboard and it is totally fine for absolute beginners. Or if you already play the piano and you just want to learn a really fun song to maybe annoy your parents with, this is the one for you. Let's have a look first at our lesson objectives and then we'll get straight into learning this super easy song which is called Knuckles. Alright, here are our lesson objectives. In this lesson we aim to, one, be able to identify sharp notes on the piano. Two, learn a song orally, which means by ear and by watching. And three, perform the song at different tempos, which means speed and different pitches. Pitches talk about how high or how low the notes are, and you will also perform your song for a friend or a teacher or a family member. And here's the curriculum links. This is for your teachers. They can press pause and read these. Everyone else, let's get cracking. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This here is a practice piano. A practice piano is just a printout of a piano on a piece of paper. And you can use that while you are watching the tutorial. The great thing about a practice piano is you can practice on it and it doesn't make any noise, which means you can still hear the video tutorial beautifully and no one can hear your mistakes while you're learning. Just Google search and search for labeled piano keyboard pictures and you'll find the picture you like, print it out and you've got yourself a practice piano for free. Let's get cranking now and start learning the song Knuckles. Okay my beautiful gorgeous people, here is a breakdown of how to play the Knuckles song. It is called Knuckles because you play it with your knuckles, pretty obvious, right? Now remember this uses the black notes which are the sharp notes in order to work out what the name is of each sharp note. You have to look at the white note that is just below it. Okay, so here we have an F note. We know this is an F note. It's a normal F note or an F natural. So the black note that is just up from it is the F sharp. So F, F sharp. So here's a G note, a G natural. So the G sharp is the black note that's just up from it. So an A, natural and A sharp is just up from it. And the way that I remember that is I think of a pencil, a pencil is sharp and the point of the pencil goes up. Same thing with the black notes, they go up. So for this song, you might notice that there's a pattern, two black notes, three black notes, two black notes, okay? You wanna start on the three. The three is what you want, which is the F sharp, G sharp and A sharp. All right, so we start with our knuckles above the three black notes. And we roll up, then tap, tap. So we roll up the three and then do two taps on the C sharp. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four. Roll up, tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap. So I'm just rolling my wrist. So I touch all three, then tapping the C sharp. So again, the start is roll up, tap, tap, roll up, Try that on your practice piano with me. Ready? One, two, three, four. Roll up, tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap. Easy, huh? So after we've gone, roll up, tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap, we then get our finger out and we play some individual notes with our fingers. So let me show you. We go, roll up, tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap, roll up. Finger, 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 finger. So I'll show you that again. Don't do it on your practice piano yet. Just have a watch. One, two, three, four. Roll up, tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap, roll up. Finger, 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 finger. On the finger, 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 finger bit, it's C, D, C, A. Now you can try it with me on the practice piano. Ready? One, from the roll up. One, two, three. Three, four, roll up, tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap, roll up, finger, 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 finger. Remember, if you can say it, you can play it. So say it along as you play and you will be so much better. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, roll up, tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap, 
Roll up finger, 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 finger. And again, on your practice piano. I'll do it slower in case you're having trouble. One, two, three, four. Roll up, tap, tap. Roll up, tap, tap. Roll up, finger, 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 finger. So that is part one. You're going to try that first. And then once you've got that right, we'll move on to part two. Good luck. Here's some tips to good practice. You want to make your practice session as effective as possible. So number one, start playing at a slow tempo. Don't go too fast too soon. Make sure you practice over and over again. Hey guys, don't do it once and just say, I'm finished. And step number three, split the song into smaller chunks and learn it chunk by chunk, which is exactly what we're doing here as we have split the song into two parts for you while you're learning. So get practicing with those tips of part number one. Good luck. I hope you went okay with part one of Knuckles. Now we're looking at part two. So let me show you the part that you've done so far. So we started with using the three black notes that are all together, which is F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp. And we started with a roll up, tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap, roll up, finger, 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 finger. So I'll show you that one again. So it's one, two, three, four, roll up. Tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap, roll up, finger, 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 finger. Now the great thing about part two is it's pretty much exactly the same, but backwards. So instead of rolling up, we roll down. So we go roll down, tap, tap, roll down, tap, tap, roll down, finger, 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 finger. So let me break that down for you. Part two, we start with a roll, but instead of rolling up, we roll down the other way. So we go roll down, then move to do the tap, 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 tap. Roll down, tap, tap. Roll down, finger, 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 finger. So try it on your practice piano. Just part two from the roll down, tap, tap. Now remember when we're tapping, we're tapping this note here which is the first note of the two that are together, which is the D sharp. So let's try part two together on the practice piano, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Roll down, tap, tap. Roll down, tap, tap. Roll down, finger, 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 finger. Let's try it again together on your practice piano. Remember, people who use their practice piano enjoy more success. Starting with the three notes that are grouped together. One, two, three, four. Roll down, tap, tap, roll down, tap, tap, roll down, finger, 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 finger. Let's put it all together. So part one with the roll up and part two with the roll down. We'll do it really, really slowly. Try and do it with me on your practice piano. One, two, three, four. Roll up, tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap, roll up. Finger, 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 finger. Roll down, tap, tap. Roll down, tap, tap. Roll down, finger, 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 finger. Let's try it again together. One, two, three, four. Roll up, tap, tap. Roll up, tap, tap. Roll up, finger, 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 finger. Roll down, tap, tap. Roll down, tap, tap. Roll down, finger, finger, finger. And when you've practiced it a lot, you can play it really fast, like this. One, two, three, four. Roll up, tap, tap, roll up, tap, tap, roll up. Finger, 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 finger. Roll down, tap, tap, roll down, tap, tap, roll down. Finger, 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 finger. So that's something to work towards, but always start slow. Good luck. So how easy is that? Part one and part two. Super easy, hey? Didn't I say it would be easy? Now remember, as you practice and prepare for your performance, don't forget the key to good practice. Make sure you follow those tips that are on the screen. And also, take a look at the screen now and see the key to improving performance. There are some tips there that can help your performance be the best that it can possibly be. Three really simple tips for you to read and follow. I really want you to have a look at number three. It asks you to experiment with what pitch, 
and what tempo sounds best with the song you are playing. Remember, pitch means high notes or low notes. So try playing the song on the high notes on the piano. Do you like it? Does it sound great? Try it on the low notes of the piano and maybe try it in the middle as well and see which pitch you prefer for your performance. You'll also want to experiment with tempo. Try playing the song slowly. Of course, in music language, we don't say slow, we say largo. So try and play the song largo. Maybe you like it largo. Maybe largo is too slow for you. Maybe you want to try moderato, which means a medium speed, or perhaps you'd like to try allegro, which is lively. Maybe you want to try presto, which is very fast. It's up to you. It's your performance. So follow those keys to improving performance. Practice your little hearts out and good luck for your performance. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, you can perform for a friend, a teacher, a family member. It doesn't matter who your audience is. They're going to love it. Have fun, guys. Well, our lesson is coming to an end. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, you should always check back with your lesson objectives at the end of the lesson and see how well you did. Can you identify sharp notes on the piano now? How did you feel about learning a song orally, which means by ear and by watching? Did you perform the song for a friend or family member? How did you feel about that? Was it embarrassing? Or did you feel really comfortable because you knew the person that you performed for? So always make sure you check back with your lesson objectives, guys. This has been Knuckles Piano Song Lesson. Super easy song. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sure you've absolutely nailed it. If you'd like some extension, well, guys, you can try some composition. You can try making up some songs of your own. Why don't you try and make up your own song using only the black notes on the keyboard, using only the sharp notes? I'd love to hear it. So that's an optional extension for you to do at school or at home. Hope you've liked the lesson, guys. There are way more lessons at Pizzazz Primary Arts YouTube channel, so make sure you check it out. Until then, stay cool, keep listening to music, and I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.